The origin of Ohio's mysterious serpent mound has baffled scientists for more than a century. We scan the entire area around the head of the serpent looking for evidence of burned soil. Collecting thousands of data points with the magnetometer that can then be analyzed for signs of fire. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're going to try to analyze the data and plug it into Jared's laptop. Here is today's data added on to what we had already done. And so we can see the body of the serpent there and oh, wow. we can see the shape of the head of the serpent there. The magnetometer hasn't turned up any evidence of burned soil that would suggest any kind of human sacrifice ritual, but it has revealed something more unexpected. Is that what I think it is? Another part of the serpent not visible above ground. It looks like a brand new coil. Yeah, so here's the serpent. Yeah. Then there's that thing there that's a, a different new part of the serpent. It's almost the exact same size and shape as these other ones that we can see above ground. This is not something that anybody's ever seen before. Um, it's, it's only showing up in the magnetometer data here for the first time. This is probably an ancient part of the serpent that was erased for some reason. The missing coil would have been here, just behind the head. With limited manpower and primitive tools, it wouldn't have been easy to build. So why would they have made such a drastic change after the fact? Is it possible they realized this particular coil was in the wrong spot and removed it? If so, the next question is, the wrong spot in relation to what? As the drone rises above the tree line, a likely answer comes into focus. The sun is setting just to the left of the serpent's head. But about a month ago, on the night of the summer solstice, it would have set a little further to the north. So if you look right down the neck, on the longest day of the year, it's actually going to be pointing right at the sunset. Was this the ultimate purpose of Serpent Mound? For many corn-growing cultures like the Aztecs, the summer solstice was a key date in the crop cycle. The first full moon after the solstice was the time to plant the corn. And a successful corn harvest could mean the difference between survival and starvation. People here did depend on the seasons. They depended on being able to understand the cycles of summer and winter and fall and spring. So for the Fort Ancient Farmers living here a thousand years ago, being able to track the days of the year to know the best time to harvest and to plant their crops was crucial to their survival. Maybe that missing coil was throwing off the placement of the serpent's head. So it was removed to allow a perfect alignment with the solstice sunset. 